Hi, I'm Steve Smith with Cult of Mac. So over the last few days, you've probably heard about the recent iPhone ransom hackings in Australia. Basically, people's iPhones, iPads and Macs have been remotely locked by hackers unless money is transferred via PayPal, asking for around $50 to $100 to have their iPhone unlocked. Now, this isn't a new scheme. It's been happening since 2005, only with PCs and laptops across the US and Europe. But it's all new to Apple and it's already been reported to spread to the UK. With Apple yet to comment on the problem, I'm gonna show you how to avoid it and what to do if it happens to you. Let's get started. So before I go through all these tips, I just want to say first off, do not send a single dollar or penny to the hackers. Remember, it's your iPhone or iPad and it's not your fault it's been hacked. So how do you avoid this? Well, there's a couple of ways. Firstly, make sure you've got two-step verification on your Apple ID. The way these devices are being hacked is by gaining access to your Apple ID account and using Find My iPhone. To do this, go to My Apple ID, select Manage Your Apple ID, sign in from iTunes or the Apple website. Select Password and under Security, go to Two-Step Verification, select the Get Started and follow the on-screen instructions. I would take you step by step through this, but then I'm sure I'll get hacked. I'm not that stupid. Secondly, make sure your device has a passcode on. If you're locked out at all, you can unlock it just by entering the passcode. So what if this happens to you? Well, if you've got a passcode or you use Touch ID, you can unlock it straight away. But you might only have access for a couple of minutes, so make sure to change your Apple ID password straight away. Once you've done that, you leave the hackers high and dry. If you didn't have a passcode and it's been locked, it's pretty likely the hackers have added one for you. But luckily there is a workaround, but it ain't that pretty. You'll need to erase your iPhone using either iTunes or recovery mode. Then use a backup to replace your data and settings on your device. But then again, don't forget to change your Apple ID password. You can find the links below for Apple's how-to for recovering your passcode. Well, that's it for this video. Have you got any other tips to get out of this sticky situation? Or well, maybe it's happened to you. If so, leave a comment below. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more great tips just like this with a brand new video coming every single day. I'll see you next time.